Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy OG here, back with another video. Got an amazing video for you guys. I want to show you guys my game of the year of 2015. There were not a lot of games released this year. Um, Xbox One had a lot of great exclusives this year. Nope. Uh, what? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Well, they had the Nintendo minigame collection and... No, there was, was also not in Xbox One. No. Okay. Well, at least on the PlayStation 4, there were incredible exclusive We had games like... Stop it! Well, there was well, nothing on the PS4. Well, at least nope. they had an incredible Christmas line at the PlayStation 4. No, 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 no. Neither? There are no exclusives on any of these systems. Well, at the very least, it's not hard for Nintendo to compete with this because there was nothing out on the Nintendo system this year. There were bad, nothing but minigame collections, platformers, that's all Nintendo ever releases, minigame collections and platformers. There was nothing hey, out. what about what? Captain Toad? Captain Toad? Captain Toad doesn't count. Captain Toad was a game in December last hey, year. Captain Toad was released in 2015 here in Europe. Yeah, but we're not in Europe, it's the internet. Besides that, absolutely nothing on the Nintendo systems. It was a terrible, terrible year for the Wii U. It is sad to be a Wii U owner. Don't you get yourself, you know you love X. I'll give you Xenoblade Chronicles X, yeah. It's the best game ever in the last Smash. There's a channel I'm watching on YouTube, Player Essence. And I feel I want to address this before I start my pick of the year, of 2015. Because OJ and I, we always debate and we talk non-stop in his comment sections, you know, all the time. And sometimes people say shit to me and I'm like, how can you honestly believe things like that? Like saying like how the Wii U barely had any games this year. And I just wanted to address this to OJ, personally, this little segment here before I started my game of the year. because. And I like his channel, and I love his shit, I've followed him for a few years already, and while I disagree with some of the things he's been doing lately, you know, because, well, let's be honest here, I started watching him because he was a Nintendo channel, like a lot of people, and then when months and months passed, and he, it's like he started hating on Nintendo so much, and, you know, whatever, it's his opinion, I still like his shit, but then sometimes he comes back with these attacks, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. At one point we were talking about what we always talk about, mostly. Mini game collections and platforms. And I hate it how he hates how Nintendo does only this, you know, that's all they do. But they release so much more than just that. And then, I love platformers. But then he attacks me on the fact that I do not like RPGs, for example, because I like platformers. <laughs> cannot let that slide OJ, seriously. So I'm gonna take a minute or two, probably more, out of this video. I just want to show you a few games that I have. RPGs. I'm one of these people, Zelda to me is an RPG, it's an action adventure RPG. A few games here. Oh man, this video is gonna be so long. I want you to know that I've been playing RPG games for my entire fucking life and I know I don't have to defend myself on anything really but sometimes some people say such shit just to attack people for no good reason assuming you know them well you don't know really anything about me if you don't ever talk to me face by face interview me whatever just talk about the shit I care about watch my channel for a long time or anything and some people might not know that even though I always defend that I want Nintendo to do more and more platformers all the time, non-stop, nothing changes the fact that I live and die for RPG games. This spiral is gonna go on and on so I'm gonna put a little timer in the video here. You can skip there if you want. I just wanna show you guys that, you know, I think I play more RPGs than you do, OJ. I'm sorry, but unless you can prove me otherwise, and this does not even go 
include anything on my Steam list. Because I have Steam View. I game on PC too. No, it doesn't include any doubles or um, limited editions or variations of any of these games. I think, OJ, if we have a little contest, I don't think you're going to win this from me. I honestly mm -hmm. think you have played more RPG games than I have in my entire life of gaming. More coming. Yeah, that's the one. And more. Yeah, what you attack me on if you destroy my arguments. If that's what I debate for, but don't attack me on shit. When you don't really know me, dude. This is all good fun, you know. Like I said, prove me wrong. Tell me and show me that you have played more RPG games than I have in my life. Next time, you feel like attacking me that maybe I don't like RPG games that much. Maybe I don't play them as much as you do. Not like platformers. Nothing changes the fact that ever since I've been gaming, since I was about four years old, since I could hold a controller, I grew up with the NES, that I have been playing RPG games. The sad thing is, I actually forgot to look through my NES games still, so there's so many games I still left out. So many games I still left out. Like I said, prove me wrong. Show me that you love RPGs more than I love platformers because my love for RPGs has got to be obvious after all of this. Like I said, and I missed so many games all throughout my room and my shelves and I didn't even tag the nest yet. Trust me, I fucking love RPGs more than you would possibly know. But like I said, I love each other, man. And all these debates, to me, they're always in good fun. So, welcome to Retro Deaths. Game of the year of 2015. Like I said before, there were so many incredible games released this year. There were a lot of incredible games. I've played everything a little bit. I've played Battlefront, for example. And even though I love playing Battlefront on the PlayStation 4, I just feel it lacks too much right now. And what they're doing with the DLC is something I just cannot accept as a game mode. The game is just not filled enough for me to be even nominating it. So I'm going to give you guys my nominations for a game of the year. Yoshi's Woolly World. Splatoon. And Xenoblade Chronicles X. These are my nominees. Games that did not make the pick. Yoshi's Woolly World. I love platformers. Yoshi's Woolly World is so high up on the list as a nomination because it did everything right and I love the way the game looks and the way it plays and while some of the hardest levels, the special levels, are still really hard it just does not have the same difficulty level as Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze which is why I cannot accept it as a game of the year it is still lacking in difficulty for me, yes if you want to collect everything 100%, it is pretty hard. But it's not the game itself that becomes hard. It's just not easy finding all the hidden items everywhere. So it is just... I wish it was a little bit harder, the game. And I really want Nintendo to get rid of that easy mode shit they're putting in every single game. Another game that has this easy mode shit that for me did not make the cut is Xenoblade Chronicles X. It was so hard for me to choose between these last two games. Xenoblade Chronicles X is an amazing game. It is so beautiful. It is so big. There's so much to see. I love playing this game. If you feel a few times, like I said, you die two or three times and a boss, they grant you this easy option. I really hate it. I want Nintendo to get rid of that shit. Especially because the game is so intricate. I love how intricate it is. The way you can buy weapons, find weapons, create weapons, create augments. There are so many things. There's armor, there are skulls. You upgrade items, you can sh mix and match equipment. You can create your base, create your skull, create your character. There is so much to discover and roam and explore and I love exploration in video games. 
and the game looks amazing and I have fun walking around and I love the battle system. This game suffers from one thing that I was so afraid of it would suffer from. Now yes, the game is like five to four or five times bigger than the map in Skyrim. And I love that and I love how much there is to explore but there isn't much to find in the world besides the items laying around and a few caves here and there because of the fact that technically it's an inhabited uh, uninhabited planet you have like one or two races that are native of this planet these two races are not giant civilizations when you have for example in Skyrim everywhere you find houses and caves and castles and they are filled with things and objects and there's life everywhere this planet is amazing the wildlife and Xenoblade X is amazing but I feel it is empty it is empty and there is no life in it apart from the creatures that live here you know there is so much the world is so big but at the same time it is filled you know there's all these plants and all these creatures and there's so much to explore but I feel it is lacking in content whereas like I said you know there's no sign of actual civilized life even though there's races on there. I haven't seen all continents yet but there's no excuse I've been to like three continents already now and it just feels a bit empty to me and that is why it is lacking and it m makes me miss this a little zest of fun in the game that there is life you know it is an excellent game it is so good it is a perfect RPG there's nothing really wrong with it except like I said you know you need to have everything for game of the year for me which leaves only one game which by now you guys know Splatoon I have to give this to Splatoon I have so many hours in Splatoon I have played it every day since it launched I'm playing it a little bit less now because there's so much shit to play but I basically play this game still every day and every now and then I I turn it on and I play with my friends, I team up with friends, people can say what the fuck they want. I've been teaming up with friends all the time, you know. I've been playing with my friends in their teams, against their teams. The game has still been getting weekly updates, new weapons, new outfits, new levels for free all the fucking time. And I just love the mechanic, it just sounds so stupid, but basically only already walking around, shooting ink, <laughs> makes me happy, it makes me fun, I love the sounds it has, the colors. And the feeling I get when I'm spraying ink, when I'm blasting an enemy, it has so much fun. It's pure fun. The fact that you can transform into a squid, race around, infiltrate bases, the player options, there's... Yes. Some people complain about the single player campaign, but it has a single player campaign. It might not be what you expected it to be, but it has a decent single player campaign. The only thing that I feel the game is missing is that you cannot play for example turf war locally you know there's no reason really for that not to be in the game even if it would just be two versus two or something there's no reason not to have like co-op or anything in this game locally but that doesn't take anything away from the game it is so much fun i love seeing this game i love playing it and a brand new ip and i think nintendo hit it out of the park with splatoon it is incredibly fun like i said there's so much to discover, there's so many levels by now and it's, everything is free, all the updates are free and every time there's more to discover and even now, basically like half a year, maybe longer by now when I turn this game on right now, it is instantly just as fun again I love instantly picking it up, going into battles and instantly shooting and it's just, I don't even care if I, honestly I'm pretty good, you know, I've been playing it non-stop, die hard, I'm pretty fucking good at the game. But even when I lose, I don't care because it is so much fun. There's so, the game is just pure 100% unadulterated fun. So yeah, I could talk about Splatoon for an, a year, ages and months and, but it's not a review of Splatoon, this is the game of the year. To me, Splatoon wins game of the year 2015 what is your pick and most important don't just tell me what is your pick why is it your pick why did other games not make the cut you know I honestly care and I can't wait for other people to make these videos and watch them so thank you guys for watching and OJ stay real